All right, Jules, as we wrap this up, one thing to notice is that there aren't very many. I, I was actually looking at CONCACAF players on this list. Yeah. There's obviously two Canadians, yes. Davies and Jonathan David. Yeah. Uh, there's zero Mexicans and okay. zero uh, Americans. Is that surprising? These fellas are hosting a World Cup yeah, in yeah. 2026. It's, it is actually the next World Cup. Let's see what Hurt Gomez has to say about it. Top 100 players came out, and you want to ask me if I'm surprised that there are no Mexican or American players on this list? No, I'm not surprised. I'd be surprised if there was a Mexican or American player on this list. Let's go through some of the names. The most important players on each national team. How about Matt Turner, starting goalkeeper at the World Cup? The clear number one right now for the U.S. men's national team. He's a bench player in Arsenal. You can go into the center back position. Well, you've got players like Tim Ream, who plays for Fulham, right? Had a very good season, but by no means in the world would you say he's one of the best center backs. You go through that spine, Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams got relegated with Leeds, or do we forget about that? How about his teammate, Weston McKinney? In that spine, comes from Juve. Also relegation, Eunice Musa almost got relegated to Valencia. Then you go to the nine position, whether you want to go Flo or Ricardo Pepe. They're not cracking that top ten in the striker position. No way, no how. It wasn't a great season for Americans. You can't really boast about anything. Maybe some cup finals in, in Belgium and, and, and in Scotland, and that's about it. And if you want to go with the Mexican national team, well, Memo Cho is fighting relegation in Serie A. That was his level there. And then Cesar Montes and Johan Vasquez, the two center backs for the national team, did get relegated. One in Serie A and the other one in La Liga. And then you can go into the center midfield, Edson Alvarez. Maybe a case... Chelsea offered $50 million. That was denied, and now Dortmund are in the same boat, and they're moving on. So maybe he could have had a, a case to crack that lineup, but no. And then you go up top, Santi Jimenez is in the Eredivisie with Feyenoord, and he's an up-and-comer, by no means a finished product. So I'm not surprised. I would have been surprised if there was. Now, there are no Americans, no Mexicans, but there are some CONCACAF players. Alfonso Davies, number two, the best player in CONCACAF, hands down. I didn't mention Christian Pulisic, but that's because he didn't play at all last season. And then... Keylor Navas waving that flag in that top 10 for goalkeepers. But this is what CONCACAF is. The level right now isn't up to par. All right. Herc Gomez, yeah. he's not surprised. He's, he's, not he's surprised. Hard. Fair, though? Yeah, I agree with him completely. But we said it's not surprising. They still have a lot of work to do, especially in Mexico and in the U.S., to be able to catch up. There's potential, for sure, especially in the younger players. Right. But they're not there yet. I mean, come on. I, I'm going to throw it out there. Out of all the guys that he mentioned out of all those Mexican and, and American players, who has the best shot at getting into the, uh, the FC 100? Who, because he mentioned Edson Alvarez. I mean, on paper, you think maybe Edson Alvarez, yeah, maybe, maybe Pulisic. I think Jorena is still maybe the most talented of them all. The problem with Jorena is he plays in a position where there's a ton of competition. No, Same thing with Pulisic too. Yeah, Pulisic, yeah. You, know, you put him on the forwards and wingers, he's really got to move the needle. No, that's true. That's true. That's why maybe, yeah, maybe he's right. Maybe Alvarez is the one that if, uh, if a move, if a big move's happened away from, from Ajax this summer and then he can step up and deliver in the, in a team that should be better and in a league that is better than the already visit, then I think he might have a shot. But again, it's, it's, that's a lot of if. I'm going to suggest Santi Jimenez because yeah. center forward, smart and that kind of center forward, there is less competition, and you figure Kareem Benzema, Lewandowski are yeah. going to get older. They may drop out. Um, you know my views on Gabriel Jesus. Uh, so maybe. But again, away from Feyenoord. But you know, he was in my draft. I picked him in my draft. So I've got a lot of faith in Santi. Yeah, you, you picked him after number 10. He's obviously. still a long way down. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.